Another interrogation? Oh, you know, I enjoy your company. Merci beaucoup. Uh, I have a list of uh, 10 questions I am no nearer to answering, and the train is about to leave. You have a clear mind, and uh, I thought you might produce an insight. Please. The handkerchief, the pipe cleaner, the scarlet kimono, the uniform, the time on the watch. Was he murdered then, earlier or later, by one person or more? Which of them? Sorry, I can't help you. Uh, merci. Perhaps there is an eleventh question you don't know to ask yet that will give you the answer to the rest. Perhaps. I could point an easy finger at the uh, Countess and Rigny. I discovered she was Sonia Armstrong's sister. Are you certain? Yes. I suspect she may perhaps be innocent, perhaps. Perhaps, but so many people have lied to me on this train and do not seem to mind. You yourself did so effortlessly. Me? You told me you had never been to America. You also concealed the fact that at the time of the tragedy, you were living in the Armstrong household as governess to their daughter. And you know this. I have my living together. A girl detained in connection with a murder case. No decent class family would engage me. Miss Stebnam, you planned Ratchet's murder. And then you sent for the Countess to witness it. If she saw him dead, the Helena you knew might return. You waited for your roommate to sleep, and she did not. You drugged her, but the Barbital only gave her a headache. She begged for an aspirin when the train stopped, when the conductor was on the station, when the coast was clear at last, when you were allowed to enter Ratchet's compartment unseen. You love Daisy Armstrong. You killed Cassetti. She didn't kill him. I did. Very girl. I can't let you take the blame for what I did alone. Mary, please go. John Armstrong was my best friend, my commander. He believed in me. He sent me to medical school, gave me a future. Cassetti destroyed him. In grief, I found Mary. And then I found Ratchet. The plan was to reveal him to the police, that's what you heard. But when I saw his face, I knew he didn't deserve a trial. So you, you, you drugged McQueen? You changed the time on the watch so that you could lie about the time of death? I couldn't let Mary be accused. Or McQueen. My sins are mine to pay for alone. I'm a soldier. A soldier kills to protect. And now, Mr. Poirot, I must protect myself from you. Oh, no. 